hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Joey Van Veen, bringing you guys weekly videos. Um, and today, if you guys have been watching uh, any of my other videos, we are um, out at Mitch's. Uh, my previous videos, I um, prepped some uh, a super bumper, which is behind me, um, a Sylvia boot, which is behind me, and over here, um, a Sylvia spoiler as well. Um, so I'll just quickly uh, run over those with you guys. So pretty much this is my Supra Series 2 bumper, um, S15 Sylvia GT boot, S15 Sylvia GT wing. If you wanna know how they were actually prepped, um, watch my previous video. Um, on the matter and uh, yeah, I think it uh, came up pretty well except for I didn't notice that little bump prior unless Hmm That's no good that really stands out on camera. I didn't actually see that before Anyway, all right, um, I will need to look into that I guess um, and uh, yeah there's the, uh, the S15 boot that's all prepped up and ready to rock and roll um, yeah so basically this um, this guy here is gonna go factory 202 black which is what my Supra's um, painted in this is the pewter silver um, that my S15 is painted in um, and yeah, I'm gonna keep the factory GT wing. I really like OEM stuff. I don't, I've um, had a lot of people recommending to go the uh, factory uh, GT wing, but with the center delete, but I'm definitely uh, definitely not doing that. I like the OEM look. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get these guys painted up in this uh, video today. Um, to be fair, I just wanted to show you guys where we're at with those. I don't know if I'm gonna get them painted. I don't actually know what's in store for today. Um, we're actually working on Mitch's car for a little bit, which I didn't film. Uh, so, I know a lot of you guys uh, may uh, watch a bit of my JDM content, but I've also got this Hilux here, which is uh, running a 2JZ motor as well, which I've done a couple of videos about. So, head on over to those. It's um, really custom. Uh, we have in here, um, yeah, custom, custom sheet flooring, full custom chassis up the back there. Um, yeah on air suspension, all that kind of good stuff. So watch the other videos, guys. This thing is gonna be sick. Also as well, I talk a lot about the Series 2 bumper. So basically the difference is that this Series 2 bumper actually has a side marker in the bumper or indicator in the bumper, should I say, an orange one. Um, then also they've got uh, a Parker slash um, indicator, which is actually in the bumper, instead of Series 1 just having an indicator. So it's got the extra, extra holes there to mount all that as well. Um, yeah, and also there's, you can see two little holes here. There's actually a piece that runs right through the center of this, this bumper here. Um, kind of, yeah, it gives it a little bit of a different look, but um, yeah, you guys will see that uh, when it's actually on the car. All right, guys, so to get started on the um, highlights behind me as well, that I've been talking a lot about, um, we actually need to finish the car that's in front of me. So it's a, um, it's a Valiant Charger. Um, don't ask me the model, I don't know enough about it, but um, Valiant Charger with a complete uh, Barra swap which uh, comes out of a Ford Falcon here in Australia. So this one's come out of a BF Ford Falcon Ute. So it's a four liter uh, turbo motor with a TR6060 manual gearbox. Um, so yeah, that's all been swapped by Mitch as well. So he's, um, yeah, he's a, uh, I guess a panel beater painter by trade who does a lot of fabrication work as well, who's actually built the truck behind me, uh, which is awesome. So we actually need to get this car out and done before we can really get into the Hilux. Um, so yeah, last week, uh, I'll quickly show you. Um, we actually tied up just a, uh, I guess the, uh, what's that, swirl pot um, slash, what's the word for it, um, surge tank, sorry. So yeah, that's your uh, surge tank swirl pot in the charger, um, which will be running a Bosch, uh, sorry, which will be running a Bosch 044 external, so um, to that as well. Um, to feed the Barra motor. So I think the owner's hoping for about 600 horsepower kind of deal. Uh, we'll see how far it gets, but yeah, it's gonna be a pretty wild thing when it's done. And um, yeah, the um, crazy part is in these cars, the subframe out of the Ford Falcon Ute actually bolted up and underneath um, this chassis. And the diff was really easy to get in there as well, which is pretty wild, but um, with really minor modifications. So yeah. Anyway, um, we might see it 
uh, driving and running one day, but uh, we just really want to get it done so we can get onto this guy. The camera doesn't really show you guys, but it's a, uh, it's a Lexus Red um, that the owner chose. Uh, looks really, really good in the, uh, in the sunlight there. Uh, I think it's got like a, some sort of metallic through it, but yeah, it looks amazing in the sunlight. It's painted really well, this car. So once again, from one of my previous videos, I got some um, 22530 tires put on my 20 inch rims. Um, let's see if I can actually fit them um, under the bottom of this car. So yeah, um, with the body drop makes uh, it hard for clearance. So let's, uh, let's see if they fit. All right, that wheel's off. I'll quickly show you guys the um, air suspension set up in there as well. So I'll show you the control arms, the airbag, and um, the brakes. So, uh, hopefully, you can see here. So that is a R33 um, Nissan Skyline caliper, um, which has had the Nissan uh, logo removed from the caliper with a BA Falcon uh, rotor. And uh, as you can see there, I believe, well, you'll see the, uh, the airbag in there with uh, the mount uh, welded up in the, in the chassis there with a, well, that airbag sitting up nicely. Whoops, have bolted it all in properly there. Um, so yeah, I also believe this front, uh, front control arm has been modified as well. Um, to suit, so yeah, that's the setup there, which is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, now let's um, let's just see if this 20-inch rim actually fits in that wheel arch under the bottom. Alright, so there they guys here. The jack is still under the chassis, so I'll have to air it up with the airbags and then let it down completely. We still have a couple of millimeters left, so I think we're actually going to get them under there. Yeah, that that's sick. It actually looks really, really good. I, however, I don't think that the rear wheels are actually going to fit in the rear, which sucks. So I probably can't run these rims anyway. But to be honest, I think I'm going to run an 18-inch wheel. So. Hell yeah, that's mad. All right, let's uh, let's try air them up quickly and air them back down.
Paris. Um, if you guys can see there, I've actually um, I've actually got clearance, so that was aired up. I've aired it down. I've got clearance. They're not going to poke through the bonnet. Um, let's just hope that the offset's right and that I can actually drive on these wheels. Let's hope the rear wheels are right too. Not liking the chances on those, but yeah, that's sick. I'm soaked with that. I'll show you guys inside the the um, inside the engine bay there. That is so sick. My childhood dream. So, yeah, very similar to the um, to the 18. Uh, I don't know if we can. Yeah, there's actually there's legitimately um, clearance in there. So yeah, I'm so stoked with that, guys. Um, look, running out of battery. I'm really happy with that. Um, I don't really know what else I'm gonna get filmed today, so even if this is a short video for today, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy that, because I'm really stoked. This is my childhood dream, something I've been wanting to start on and finish and get done for, for so long. Um, so yeah, anyway, please like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot, see ya.